It's lovely to see you. Thank you so very nice much for, for coming in today. Um, so when did you start to love mermaids? Um, well... How old do you think you were? Um, for three or four? I think I was... Because you started drawing them as well, didn't you? Did you draw uh, them? That was my sister had done it. Yeah, your sister drew them as well. Yeah. Um, so when do you think, Mum, when do you think it was that she She started? was about six years old yeah. and um, she started taking a huge interest in mermaids. Yeah. And, and she is a little girl with some serious health challenges, isn't she? Yeah. Would you yeah. explain what they are? Lauren's got um, short gut syndrome. She was born at 27 weeks premature and she developed three deadly conditions mm -hmm. when she was born. Um, she wasn't supposed to be here or survive. She has a miracle, mm -hmm. isn't but she? But she has the fighting spirit kept her here. Unfortunately, yeah. Lauren's now relies on artificial nutrition one through her stomach and one into a vein in her heart and <clears throat> this is what now keeps Lauren alive. And the, and the, and the backpack is, what, is what's, uh, what's in the backpack? What's in that, Lauren? Um, it's special milk. Special milk, which you have to carry around on your back? Um, yeah. Wow, and that must be heavy. Um, well, it's not really, because I just get um, used to it. You get, get used to it. it. So I need to ask you about this mermaid, because when I was a little girl, and still to this day, mermaids are my favourite thing in all the world, and I've always dreamt of meeting a mermaid, and yet this actually happened to you, didn't it? Yeah. And you'd been in hospital, you'd been having some operations, and you'd drawn a mermaid, and the nurse arranged for you to go on a bit of a special trip, didn't she? And you thought you were going to the aquarium, first of all, and then you went for a walk down the side of Loch Lomond, and then lo and behold, out of nowhere, what happened? Um, our mermaid um, was, was swimming in the sea. And she came out onto the banks yeah. and came and chatted to you. So what was going through your head when you saw her? Um, just, like, really happiness. I bet. Um, I bet you never thought you'd see one. <laughs> and very, very, She's very rare. She's a necklace there, so this was her gift she gave to you. And she told you also something about the full moon, something magical that happens. Um, she said um, you could... Um, is it if you put your hands in the water yeah. on a full moon, you yeah. could turn, turn into a mermaid? mermaid yeah. Yeah. So wow. They have special powers on now I didn't realise how now much I power there was for a mermaid in the in the full moon. And so have you kept in touch? Because I know that there are there are very clever ways that you can communicate with the mermaid if they if they want to, and they can use their sea snail mail, can't they? Yeah. And they can use their shell phones and stuff like that. So have you have you actually kept in touch with her? Yeah. And what do you talk about? Um, like your day, um, what she's doing. She just um, asked how um, I'm doing. Yeah, 